Happy gang, Jose with uh, Sailing Vessel Reverie, uh, bringing you a kind of a short, quick episode. Uh, if you remember last time I was install installing my Vulcan uh, BNG chart plotter and I showed you uh, some of the uh, updating features of, you know, how do you get the software done. Now for the Triton 2, uh, it's a whole different story. Uh, I exchanged messages with um, BNG and basically you have to use a USB stick. So you cannot update uh, by using a uh, an SD card or using the internet. So I'm gonna show you what I had to do, uh, well actually what I'm doing right now, to uh, upgrade the software on the Trident 2 uh, instrument panel. So let me show you that. Okay, in order to um, do the upgrades on the Trident, you have to USB, use a USB port and which means you have to use that service port right there. So I'm gonna open that up and uh, show you what all this uh, looks like. Okay. All right, there's the, the USB. So basically what they say is I have a USB uh, stick that I formatted and downloaded the update software. So I'm just gonna uh, place it in. And uh, now we have to turn power on and it's supposed to kick in uh, when we turn the power on. So let's see. Okay. I turned the power on. So let's see what it does. Okay, my other instrument is already on. Okay. Uh, all right, that seems to be it. Uh, there, there weren't any messages or anything like that. So I'm starting to get readings uh, on it. Let me go to the menu. The settings and the system. There's files. Let's go to the USB mass storage, Triton 2, and we're going to hit upgrade. Okay, to reboot the display, to start the upgrade, do not remove the mass storage device. Okay. All right. So there we go. Now it's doing the update. I guess you you started with a stick on, so it detects the memory. You know, it detects that you have the USB stick uh, before you uh, go select the files. So the other unit's still on. This one is rebooting. Now, the, the challenge with this that I don't like is that you have to, at least in my scenario, uh, I would have to cut a bigger hole on the back. Uh, you see, I have the little hole back there. I would have to cut a bigger hole so I can get my hands in there to get the USB stick. And I didn't want to do that, so I chose to pull the unit from the, the bulkhead, but that's uh, also not good because now I have to reseal everything. But it looks to be on, so let me check the menu again. Go to settings. I'm gonna take the shortcut to system. Uh, let's see. Files. Go back to the USB mass storage. So 
So it's asking me if I want to upgrade again. I'm not going to do that because I already did it. So I'm just going to go back to menu. Check the system settings real quick. It's asking me if I want to store, export the current system settings to the connected my storage device. I'm going to say yes. I guess it's going to be a backup and click OK. And that's it. Um, not too bad. So I guess I have to uh, shut the power to the unit to remove the USB stick and put it on the second unit and repeat the process. So let me take care of that. Okay, we're now doing the second unit. Basically same procedure, uh, remove the Triton 2 from the bucket, uh, insert the memory stick and the USB and power it up. Menu, settings, I'm kind of going backwards, you know, if I use the up arrow, I get to the bottom of the menu faster. System, back to the bottom, and go up, up. go into files, and hit enter. And USB mass storage, hit enter. Setting I said, I'm gonna go to the update and hit enter and upgrade. Okay, to reboot, I'm gonna say, okay, there it goes. The other one didn't do that long beep, but um, we'll see. I don't think it updates both out of one memory stick, so. All right. So I'm going back to menu, settings, yep. settings again, files. Check settings here. Would you like to export? So you have to go, let me say no. So I can take you back. So um, after I did the update, I went back to system settings and I hit enter and it's asking me to export the current settings to the connected my storage device. So I guess when the, it detects the USB, it'll try to save the settings from the Triton. So I'm gonna say yes, so it saves these ones. Uh, I guess I have to put different names. I'm just gonna say yes, because I'm basically using them both the same way. Export settings completed. And if I go to the USB mass storage device, you can see my setting file and the old update file. So I'm gonna go back to the main screen. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reset the system and look at my Victron Balkan because normally if it detects that the software updates are not up to speed, it'll show me what updates are available. So I'm gonna go and see and make sure that it doesn't show me this again. So uh, let me take the power off, remove the USB, uh, put it back in the bulkhead, and then I'll go to uh, the Balkan and see if it detects the update. Okay, so starting the system again if that is the latest and greatest uh, i shouldn't have any more messages on the vulcan saying that um uh, and there's additional software updates asking would you like to delete the old update transfer files from the sd card sure why not What you saw is I had turned the Z-Zone on 
um, to start kind of documenting the different instruments and configurations but I haven't gotten that far so it says there's no C-Zone configuration which is fine I knew that so let's see yep okay no warning messages I went to see if there's any Yep, uh, here it is again. There's two software updates available for devices on the network. Do you want to view them? It's still telling me there's an update for the Triton. Uh, current version 57.384, available version 57.3163. So I have, there's no other software um, on the website for BNG for this update. So I'm going to have to call them again and ask them about the, what the software update is about. Um, but I updated the software based on their instructions, um, based on the available files on the website. So I'll take a picture of this and send it in and see what they say. Uh, I'll let you guys know. All right, gang, so that's it uh, for this quickie video, quickie update. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Just click on the links below. Uh, if you have any feedback, please uh, put comments on the videos. That way I can respond. Um, I put these also on Facebook, so I can respond through there as well. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'll let you know what Triton says about that software update. Um, I'm stumped. I've been to the website. I pulled the, the files. And I did everything they said, but I guess there's still one more update out there that's not on the website. So I'll find out what that's all about. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.